join? Hi, boss. Well, they finally delivered my polo pony. <laughs> Hello, Bow Wow. <laughs> You see that? What? The way he loves you? He growled at me. Well, he didn't growl at me. He growled Rrr, love. Mm -hmm. Love? That's right. Yeah. Well, if you say so, Joey. Oh, I got a crazy phone call to make. <laughs> Did you see that? What? The way he followed you. He didn't move. Oh, I don't mean follow you with the body. I mean the way he followed you with his eyes. As you walked, his eyes just followed you right to the door. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it's a beautiful animal. Go ahead. Oh, that, that phone call. He's a great companion. Yeah, I'll bet. Girls are crazy about Great Danes. Yeah, I'll bet they are. <laughs> Gir girls are crazy about Great Danes? Oh, yes. I sure wish I could keep them, but... Mom, with the new furniture, you know, she just won't let him in the house. I only hope I can find someone who he'll love and that someone will love him. Well, did, didn't you see the way, the way he growled at me? The way he followed me out of the room with his eyes? <laughs> he loves me. He does love you. There's no question about it. Uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't know his name. I just call him Boy. Boy? Yeah. Crazy. Hey, Tarzan. You boy. <laughs> Tonight we go find Jane. <laughs> hey, give me your paw. Well, is that amazing? Huh? Is that dog smart or is he smart? What, what, what? What would happen another dog said, give me your paw to another dog? What would happen? He'd give me his paw. Well, not this dog. He's too clever. He's got a dirty paw. <laughs> oh. oh. I hate to give him up if I could just find someone who, who would treat him real well. I, 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 I uh, the dog loves me, Joey. I treat him well. I treat him beautifully. Talk no further. My mind's made up. You got him as a birthday gift. Crazy. <laughs> I'm sure gonna miss him. Take good care of him. Mm -hmm. I promise. That's right. Now, where did he go? Oh, well, his tailor told him his suits were ready, so he went to pick him up. He ought to be back any minute. Okay. Hi, Peggy. Uh, Peggy, take a coffee break. Um, I just took one. Take a tea break. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Raymond. Call me, Charlie. Yes, Mr. Raymond. You, um, notice anything? No. The outfits, the matching outfits. I had six of them made today by my tailor. Uh, uh, Charlie, there's something I gotta tell you about this dog. Joey, there's nothing you can tell me about this dog. I had the vet give him his physical today. He's in better physical health than I am. I love him. I love him. Come on, boy. Up there. Love your master. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, that's my, uh, my private phone, Joey. You want to uh, keep an eye on him? Yeah. Come yeah. on, here, boy. Up, 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 up. Jump. Big up. Here we go. Yeah. Down, down. Oh, you got him well trained. Oh, he's a beautiful dog. Better get your phone. Yes, sir. Snooky, will you sit still a minute, please, so I can get these pictures finished? Gee. Hey, man, I can make this the last one. I'm very busy. Oh, just let him keep shooting, will you? This is like publicity, man. <laughs> I want this released to all news services. Miss Sally Ames of Brooktown, Nevada, has just been declared the winner of the Snooky Bradford contest. Right. Now, we'll be flying her into Hollywood this Saturday for her grand prize. A wonderful week in Hollywood and a glorious grand date with Snooky Bradford himself. How about that left profile now? I think that's your best side. Hey, like every side's my best side, man. You know, <laughs> if this boy ever gets over his inferiority complex, he'll really go places. Just shoot the picture, Louie. Thank you. Hey, Louie. Yeah? You want to make yourself a big man? Give this to some chick. A souvenir. Hey, thanks. Louie, if the uh, pictures come out real good, you may get a lock of his hair. I'd rather have a lock of his head. <laughs> Thanks, Louis. So long. Oh, this is going to be front page stuff. It'll be terrific, colossal, stupendous. Scooby Doo, man. That's what it is. Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was trying to say it in English. <laughs> yes? Oh, yes, Peggy. It's your call to our contest winner. Oh. Uh, Joey, you, you are the greatest publicity man in the business. Why, the coverage on this is going to be worldwide. A couple days at a farm, huh? 
A couple days in a farm. Me, huh? You cracking up, man? You, 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 you can't tell a pig until you've seen the, the curl in his tail. <laughs> hey, now, hold it, Clyde. You're talking to Snooky Bradford. Farms are for horses, not cats. <laughs> All right, Cap, but that's the only way to get the old man to let his daughter go out with you. You might enjoy it up there. Long walks in the fresh air, and you can drink in that sunshine. Drink what in the sunshine? <laughs> Sweet cider. Sweet cider. Put an olive in it. I once spent two weeks on a farm. See? You love it. Get up in the morning with the chickens and the horses and the... Oh, no, this was a health farm. I was there for two weeks till they dried me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's cut with the lip service, huh? I don't think the hayseed bit. It's out. Okay, it's out. It's out, okay. No farm, no date, no date, no publicity, no publicity. Soon, no Snooky Bradford. No Snooky. Hey, man, like there'll always be a Snooky Bradford, man. Like, like, uh, like there'll always be a Christopher Columbus. I mean, let's face it. I don't like this any more than you do. After all, I have to go up there with you. Well, our troubles are over. No, they're not over. They're, they're just beginning. I got to convert him into a, a typical average American boy who might have lived on a farm once in his life. Well, do you think you can swing it? Not going to be easy. Gonna have to convert him into Huckleberry Finn. Who's Huckleberry Finn? He blows the bubbles for Lawrence Welk. Joey, guess what I've done? built a golf course in the office building, and this is going to be the 18th hole. <laughs> no. no. No, I gave up that project last week. Uh, no, no, Joey, I have done something for you, something you're really going to like. You're giving me a week's vacation from you. <laughs> no, Joey. Joey, who took me under his wing and, and guided me through public relations? Hmm? You did. Now, who made my uncle extremely happy because I'm a successful businessman today? You did. And what happened? Do you have any time for yourself now? No. Can you play golf now? No. Work all day, right? That's it. Joey, what would make you happier than anything else in the whole world? A secretary. A secretary! Ha-ha! <laughs> Voila! Enter. One secretary. <laughs> this is Kitty Flanders. I'd like you to meet Joey Barnes. Joey, this is your new secretary. Hello, Miss Flanders. Won't you sit down, Miss Flanders? Oh, call me Kitty. That's oh. what my friends call me. Uh, you two are getting along just fine. Uh, it's going to work out perfectly for me. I tell you how we'll work it. Uh, I'll get all the stuff ready for you in the morning. Now, while I'm out making business calls, you can do all the typing. Typing? Yes. Well, didn't he tell you? Tell me what? Well, I don't know the first thing about being a secretary. <laughs> Joey Bishop Show. Joey, Joey, Joey. Starring Joey Bishop. May I ask where you were employed when he hired you? I was a car hop at Nick's Drive-In. A car hop at Nick's Drive-In. Oh, you're gonna love it here, Kitty. Joe's a kitty. He's a great guy. He'll make a wonderful boss. Oh, yes, I'll be a wonderful boss. As a matter of fact, before you even start working, I suggest you take a coffee break. There's a coffee machine right down the hall. A coffee break? Already? Yes. I am gonna love it here. Yeah, I thought you would. I think I'll join you for that. Go ahead, Kitty. I'll be right back. No, no, we've got a million things to talk about. Go ahead. Have your coffee break. All right, Charlie, now, nice and easy. Let's get over here and talk on the couch, because I think that's the only place you can talk is on a couch. <laughs> Sit down, Charlie. Now, at the risk of seeming inquisitive, will you please tell me why you hired for me a girl as a secretary who cannot type, take shorthand, who wants a car hop? Or did you think I'd get rid of my intercom and put a car horn in here? A car horn instead of an intercom system? That's a great idea! Tell me just a minute! <laughs> Now, what is she doing here? And please don't tell me when you rolled up the window in your car, her arm got caught in it. <laughs> well, it all happened pretty fast, Joey, last night. I, after I dropped off my date, I went over to the drive-in to get a cup of coffee. And uh, Kitty waited on me. Well, uh, there were very few cars there, hardly anybody there. We had a chance to talk. You know? She is cute. Oh, that's obvious. 
So I, I said to her, I said, what's, what's a pretty, pretty girl like you doing in a place like this? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I felt sort of sorry for her, you know, out in the rain and all. So uh, I, uh, we, uh, uh, she's here today. And gone tomorrow. <laughs> Joey, look, look, I, I promised her a job. Yes, you can give her a job. Sally, the receptionist on the fourth floor, got married Saturday. There was no receptionist. May Kitty, the receptionist on the fourth floor. Yeah, well, I thought of that. Except I gave that job to my date last night. <laughs> Boy, Charlie. Joey, I can't help it, but every every time I see a pretty face, I I I, I like him. <laughs> you can understand, Charlie. If a girl can't type and she can't take shorthand, she can't do anything a secretary can do. I cannot use her in here. You're gonna have to get rid of her. You're you're, you're absolutely right, Joey. I I made a very bad mistake. Yes. Yeah, we'll we'll have to fire her. Good. You fire her. <laughs> Now, just a moment. Just one moment. I did not hire her. I am not going to fire her. Oh, Joey, I can't fire her. I never fired anybody in my whole life. I don't know how. Charlie, will you please get it through your head? You are now an executive. And as an executive, you should learn how to give orders. You're okay. right. Good. You're absolutely right, Joey. I am an executive. I, I should learn, like, like all good executives, to give orders. Now you're talking. I'm going to start right now. Good. Fire Miss Flanders. <laughs> Charlie? Charlie! <laughs>